you're already here. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Please come in. Welcome to my home. In today's episode, we will learn about men's changing roles and the verbs make and do. Let me demonstrate. Each morning, I like to do my exercises. One, two, three. Whew, enough of these. <laughs> then, I like to make coffee. <laughs> Mmm, easy, right? Let's go see what the Pushkins are doing this morning. Come on, Max, it's time to get up. Nobody else is complaining. You sure the water wasn't hot? Yes, I'm sure the water wasn't hot. I think I know when water is hot and when water is not hot. All right, all right. I'll take a look at it later. When? I'll get to it when I get to it. I have a lot of other things to do. Fine. <laughs> This one. No. Oh, this one? Victor, what are you doing? You're making a mess. <laughs> Max, please go get dressed. This one? Why do I always have to fold your these clothes? Ones, no. These ones, no. These ones, no. These ones, no. Hi, Max, what are you doing? These ones, no. These ones, no. I'm getting dressed. Max, pick up your clothes. Have a good day. What the Breakfast. I made you breakfast. Oh, I'm having breakfast with Nikolai. I'll see you later. Hello. Hi. How is my beautiful wife? 
tired. Oh, why? Why? I do a lot of work, Victor. What do you do? What do I do? What do I do? Hmm, let's see. What do I do? I get up. I take care of Max. I make breakfast. I make the beds. I do the dishes. I take Max to mother's. I go to work. I do the shopping. I do the laundry. I do the cleaning. I get to Max for mother's. I make dinner. That's why your beautiful wife is so tired. But that's what women do. They make dinner. They clean the house. They take care of children. Ow! Wait! What's for dinner? It is very simple. I'm the man, she's the woman. I do the work of the man, and she does the work of the woman. Jeez, Victor. If I said that to Vanessa, she'd throw me out. Ah, oh, but you agree with me. No. Look, there's no such thing as man's work and woman's work anymore. It's all just work. Like Vanessa and me. We help each other. If she makes breakfast, I make the bed. If I do the shopping, she does the laundry. If she makes dinner, I do the dishes. She does things for me, I do things for her. Karina, she works, right? Yes. Full time? Yes. So is it fair that she has to do all the housework too? It is not my fault that she's a woman. That is her mother's fault. <laughs> Victor, you're something. You are really something, you know. I expect you to do the dishes and clean up once in a while. We need to work together. Men don't do dishes. You did not make me do this before. Victor, life is different now. Times have changed. Everything has changed. The question is, will you? And freeze! Boy, oh boy. In today's society, what is a man supposed to do? What is a woman supposed to do? When I was a young wizard, it was very simple. My father would go out and cast the spells, and my mother would stay home and take care of the lair. But today, it is not so simple. Jason really understands about sharing responsibilities with his wife. And he also knows how to use the verbs make and do. Let's watch. If she makes breakfast, I make the bed. If I do the shopping, she does the laundry. If she makes dinner, I do the dishes. She does things for me, I do things for her. Make and do are both verbs we use to express accomplishment. Generally, do is for activities. For example, I do the shopping. I do the laundry. We use make when we want to create something that wasn't there before. For example, we make dinner. We make furniture. Easy, right? <laughs> but let's get back to Victor. What do you think he should do? And action! <laughs> I will change nothing. Victor Pushkin's a real man, just like his father. And this I am sure. My father does not cook. My father does not clean. My father does not do dishes. Neither do I. stuff. Karina, who is this man? 
This is a real man who helps make dinner and helps me do the dishes. But Karina, why? Why? Because he shares the work with me and that makes me feel special and appreciated and loved. But, but... quick. <laughs> <clears throat> Karina got so tired that she found a man that cooks and cleans. <laughs> Poor Victor. Wait, let's see what happens when Victor makes a change and action. Victor, life is different now. Times have changed. Everything has changed. The question is, will you? Karina, back home it wasn't like this. But maybe you're right. I should help you with the work. With dinner? Yes. And the dishes? Oh, wow. And the dishes. <laughs> Karina! Yes? Oh, oh, Sue from HUD! Hello! I helped Karina with a housing complaint. This is my cousin Eric. Hi. We're going to take dance lessons. Are you taking classes too? Oh. I teach classes. Oh, how funny! Really? Can we take your class? Um, so, how is the new apartment? Well, to tell you the truth, Things aren't going very well. Really? What's the problem? Well, there's no hot water, and the manager is not a very nice guy. Yeah? Sue Blake from HUD. Remember me? I don't know. Maybe. It seems that the Pushkins are having a problem with their hot water. Do you know anything about that? Oh, yeah, I've been trying to get a plumber to go down and... I don't believe you for one minute, Mr. Greedo. You get someone in there to fix it pronto. If you don't, you'll be in hot water. But... No buts! If they don't have hot water by tomorrow, the next apartment for rent around here will be yours. Have a nice day! I'm serious, Karina. Call me if your water is not fixed by tomorrow. I don't know how to thank you for all your help. I'll tell you what. If you can teach me how to dance, that will be all the thanks I need. Then you are in luck. I will make you a great dancer. I promise. I can't wait. <laughs> I'll see you Tuesday. Oh, by the way, I thought you'd like to know. My cousin was very disappointed to hear you were married. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Supermax! There's a beautiful lady at the door. Remember what we practiced, okay? One, two, three. Here we go. Welcome to Max and Victor's restaurant. Would you like to dine with us this evening? Oh, well, yes, I would. Come right this way. Yes, I will. Welcome. We have many specials for you tonight. I can, oh, I can see. <laughs> um, please, you must start with Max and Victor's super duper soup. It is super duper. Mmm, -hmm. it is super duper. Ah, but this is just the beginning. Who is that? 
We did not expect other guests. Yes? Hi. Please, uh, come in. I just want to tell you, I fixed your hot water problem. Thank you. And I'm sorry about what happened. Welcome to Max and Victor's restaurant. Would you like to dine with us this evening? Welcome to Max and Victor's restaurant. Would you like to dine with us this evening? What? Yes. Why not? We are neighbors, huh? Let us be friendly neighbors. Please sit down. Please sit down. I've never been invited to dinner before. Then we have something in common. This is my first time too. But I think I could learn to like it. Oh, what a happy ending. Everything is finally working out for the Pushkins. Even Lyle made new friends. Well, this is our last episode on managing family life. And remember to practice the verbs we learned. See you next time here on English for All. Wish me luck. I also have my own dinner date with Rosalinda. <laughs> She finally said yes. <laughs>